In this tutorial, I'm going to walk through how to fix the Postgres role does not exist error that you may run into when working with Rails, Postgres on a Linux environment. And let's first try to create this error here. I'm going to generate a new Rails project. And so I'm going to say Rails new and then say my PG project. I'm going to have it skip the test just so it loads a little bit faster. And then I'm also going to make sure that I am using the database of Postgres SQL. Now this assumes that you already have Postgres installed on your system. So I'm going to run this and it's going to go install all the dependencies and it's going to run bundle install and everything like that. Now if I type ls you can see that we have my pg project right there and so let's switch into that. So my pg project and you may think that we'd be able to type rails db colon create just like this and usually that will work but if you run into the rule does not exist bug like we're going to right here then this is going to break so if I run this then you're gonna see that we get this giant very scary looking error message if I scroll all the way up to the top then you're gonna see where it says PG connection bad fatal rule Jordan does not exist. Now do not let this intimidate you. All it means is that Postgres was looking for the username Jordan. It says role, but it's actually looking for a username Jordan and it was not able to find it. And so that is what the entire issue is related to. But I'm going to show you that we can fix it just like this. The very first thing that we have to do is we have to switch in and use our Postgres user. So to do that, type sudo su and that stands for super user space a dash and then postgres so what this means is right now we're logged in as jordan so well i am yours is going to say whatever your name is and so but you can see right here that i'm logged in as jordan into this version of linux and i want to be logged in as a postgres user so if i hit enter it's going to ask me for my system password and now you can see that it says postgres at jordan so now i am logged in as the postgres user and now what i can do is create that user so i can say create user dash s dash r and then Jordan. Now you most likely, unless your name is Jordan and you gave Jordan as your system role or as your system name, then yours is gonna be your name. It's gonna be whatever the, whenever you had that error and it said role does not exist for, mine says Jordan, yours is gonna say whatever your name is. That is what you wanna type in. So create user dash S dash R Jordan, hit enter. And that's it. So now let hit control D that's going to switch you back into your default user. And now, assuming that you're still in the project, now let's try rails db colon create once again. And now you're going to see that this is actually working. We no longer get that error message. You can do a really quick scaffold. So I could say rails g scaffold and say blog title string just like this and then it's going to generate all this for us and then we're going to be able to update the database so now i can say rails db colon migrate this is going to update the database tables that we already created rails s to start the Rails server and now we should be able to go to localhost 3000 in our browser and then update everything so we can actually type different titles in for blogs and different things like that just to make sure that we actually have persistence that what we're typing into the screen is going to be able to be saved in the database so if i type 
localhost 3000, that works, localhost 3000 slash blogs. You can see that now we have our blogs showing up. I can type new title, my test, hit create blog, and that is stored. That means that this is stored in the database, which means that our database configuration is working perfectly. So that is how you can fix the role not found and, that, and fix that fatal Postgres error when you're working on Linux.